Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. This is Mr. Zatola, and now we're going to go over the last page of the uh, endocrine gland uh, sexual reproduction packet, but focusing on the endocrine gland functions, okay? So this is the page we're on, and we're going to take these words from the word bank, and we are going to add them in uh using the function and some hormones produced but really what i want to show you is uh how easily uh we can look at what's going on with the the functions and the hormones produced and and kind of tell what gland we're talking about so they've done the first one for us the hypothalamus all right it, it controls the pituitary gland right again we're talking about uh we're up in the brain all right uh, this releases thyroid hormone, which also controls the thyroid, and we'll go into that a little further. Um, second one, regulates body function and controls the actions of other glands. That is what's really important here. And here are the hormones, growth hormone or HGH, thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, or LH, there's a whole bunch of other hormones that we have right here. Um, this one whoops, this one is going to be um, the pituitary, pituitary gland. Again, still up in the brain, okay? Uh, pituitary gland is um, an essential, essential hormone for our, or our sorry, essential gland. Um, the hypothalamus controls the pituitary, the pituitary controls the other some of the other glands we should say okay moving down uh let's take a look right here regulates the body's metabolism all right this is metabolism we have to remember metabolism refers to balance right uh, this is the use of 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 all the nutrients and it makes up all the wastes so uh cell respiration and, and other other chemical balances are really important but what i like to look at is thyroxin sounds a lot like thyroid okay the thyroid gland um that's how you remember it thyroxin thyroid uh i love that it's so close uh scientists want to keep this one easy so um just remember the connection to thyroxin and thyroid okay here we have our next gland um, prepares the body to deal with stress. Whoops, sorry about that. Preparing the body to deal with stress, all right? This is all about um, uh, fight or flight, right? Reaction. And your fight or flight reaction is all about uh, your adrenal glands, okay? Your adrenal glands are on top of your kidneys and they release, uh, as you can see, corticosteroid right over here. They release corticosteroid, they release epinephrine, and they release non-epinephrine as well. Um, these get the body prepared to deal with quick reaction and, and stressful situations. Um, running away from a, a rabid dog or turning and, and fighting, uh, I don't know, someone trying to stick you up. Don't ever do that, by the way. Okay, the next one we have here, maintaining the level of blood glucose. All right, this is all about these two, insulin and glycogen. Right, we have to remember insulin, we'll look at a chart down the road. Insulin takes the blood sugar back down, reduces blood sugar. Glycogen sounds like glucose, increases the blood sugar. Okay, and what gland does this? The pancreas. So Ooh, can't spell today. Or ever. The pancreas does this, okay? 
Um, the pancreas releases a lot of digestive hormones, but it also releases these two, or sorry, digestive juices, but it also releases these two hormones. Okay, the last two we're going to do kind of together because I'm going to call these common sense things. You're smart kids. So when looking at what we have here, we have produces egg and female and produces sperm and male. All right. Uh, the hormones produced are estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. But when we we're gonna go over those later, what they do when we do human reproduction. But all right, the female, the female sex gland is the ovary, and the male sex glands are the testicles, testes. Ooh, still can't spell the testis or testicle. Okay, you have to know both words okay you have to know both that it can be either or the way they say it um oh, that's that's what you have to remember here okay so these are the answers to this let me just slide it back up take a look hopefully you did well on these and you understand the connections between the words or the hormone and the name of the gland some of them are very clearly simple. Uh, remember, you have many more glands and hormones in your body. These are the important ones. On the project, you're going to have to identify. You could use this. You can go on the internet. Um, yes, you want pictures where each one is located. Okay, so obviously, uh, hypothalamus brain, pituitary gland brain, thyroid, and parathyroid is in your chest, uh, upper chest. Uh, adrenal gland is on top of your kidneys. The pancreas is right around your digestive system, just below your stomach. The ovary and testicles, well, they're human sex uh, and specific uh, to the male or female. So you're going to need two pictures of each sets, um, each of the sets, okay? So again, hope everyone's doing well. I really hope to see you guys soon. I'm wondering if you guys are missing going to school as much as I am missing uh, being around everyone at school. Um, be Enjoy your family while you have the time, all right? Talk to you all soon. Email me if you have any questions.